Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. 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 Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. 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 Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Broccoli. Lumber. Broccoli. Lumber. Lumber. Broccoli. Oh, 
laying across an upholstered chair in my family's living room as a child. It, it was winter break and my lips were chapped. I had recently spent time outside in the cold, sledding or playing in the snow. My lips were always chapped in the winter. The skin would peel and I would cover it with gray, red, cherry flavored chapstick. I was laying across the chair, biting at the peeling skin of my lips. I rubbed my fingers across the skin, feeling for the frayed edges of my body, or searching for the tough edges on the surface of my body. Using my teeth and my tongue and my fingers, I would pull at the edges and reveal sensitive new skin underneath. It was like I was peeling away a foreign body that had accumulated on my surface. Sometimes my lip would bleed. I knew it would heal quickly. Laying across that chair, I recalled a conversation with my brother about how he wanted to be a girl. I pick at my fingernails and my cuticles and the skin on my fingertips. I peel off callous skin as I note the tissue underneath has more pronounced sensation. The cracked dead skin on the side feels foreign to me. The sensation is dull. I have the sense that it doesn't belong there. I rub my lips across the skin of my fingers, feeling for the frayed edges of my body. Or searching for the tough edges on the surface of my body. The need to, to rid myself of this foreign material is most severe in my toes in the summer. I used to wear sandals all summer. I would swim every day. The water would soften the toenails and the cows getting easy to pick. As a teenager, I remember sitting by the, by the side of the pool, picking at the skin of toes and peeling away the ends of my toenails. Sometimes I'd remove too much of the, much of the nail and it would hurt a day or so. Sometimes it would bleed. Year after year, the more I picked at my toenails, the easier I got to get closer and closer to removing them entirely with minimal pain. One summer, when I was 26 or 27, I decided to try to remove my toenails permanently. I had almost completely picked away the nails on the two smallest toes of my right foot. I was home alone, and I took my soldering iron into the bathroom. I plugged it in and waited. Once it was hot, I carefully and quickly touched the soldering iron to one of the nail beds, and the next, the skin burned and smoke curled along the tip of the soldering iron. I could smell burning skin. I went about my day. Eventually, the area healed and the toenails returned. I still pick at my skin. Broke arm. Trapped inside, thumb is trying to break out. I was 13, I broke my wrist while I was sledding, and it was 